I was born to fight. I was raised to fight. I was raised to compete. But uh, tonight is, is at an end. After a long campaign to take back the state house, the Ehrlich campaign fell short, conceding to Governor O'Malley in front of a crowd of supporters. We wish him well and the state well. This is our state. And we wish him well. We congratulate him. From the beginning, the mood was upbeat in Exhibition Hall at the state fairgrounds. It's a little early. I mean, the polls have only been closed, not even an hour yet. But, uh, you know, we're optimistic and we'll see where it goes. Not what we really want right now, but it's going okay. Yeah, there's always hope. Always hope. <laughs> But as the numbers came in, it became clear that Ehrlich and his supporters would not leave with a victory. I see the faces and I see the disappointment, but I hope you see my face. I'm really disappointed, obviously, because I love to win and I love to compete. But this is politics and this is Maryland, and uh, being a Republican in Maryland means it's tough. The general mood tonight after former Governor Bob Ehrlich's concession speech was that they're very disappointed in the loss here in Maryland, but happy with the national gains made by the GOP. They're doing great all across the country, and uh, the people have spoken. They're tired of the big government, big brother philosophy. And for the Ehrlichs... Our life going forward, as I said, will be law firms and radio shows and, and maybe speaking once in a while and uh, seeing a lot of football and all the stuff that we love. And while this may not be the outcome Ehrlich was hoping for... We really care about the state, and we care about the direction of the state and we care about the people of the state, and we care about the people who care about us so much. I should hate Bobby Ehrlich. In Timonium, I'm Alex Ledka, CNS-TV.